Ooh, aren't those scary, like pitch black. Probably baddies away, but we can't help it. We have to explore because destiny awaits. <laughs> Hello peeps, Struggle here, welcome back. Fourth part of my Let's Play series. Um, last part we did the uh, botany section setup. And now they are pretty busy carrying stuff around because I set up this storage unit and now they are transporting stuff over there like crazy because um, yeah it's it's said to have all the fertilizer and all the biomatter in there and so we are emptying this thing at the same time yada 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 all the good stuff so probably we should unlink those because we are not going to need them anytime soon. Baxter and Corey, you both get in there. Cameron, what are you carrying? Hull scrap? We don't need hull scrap now. By the way, what we should actually really do is check. We can do a plus five on each of those. That will generate a little bit of infra scrap. And now we probably should also have Cameron with us. Jonathan, as usual, uh, we leave behind to do the research. And every now and then he's walking over to one of those chairs, sitting down, relaxing and then getting back to work. Pro tip, if you want to speed up your research process, have some seeding around the research labs just to reduce the time he's traveling and such. I really hope that someone soon we are going to find Oh, hello. So yeah, I wish we could find a new crew member in one of those derelict ships. Blasted. Alright. Get through there. Get in there. Oh. There's something. Credits are good new tranquility entry four awesome respectable persons of business yeah it would be really cool if that actually would be a real thing in the game i mean come on like the story is basically they are turning their ship into a um trading station and um having the coordinates like in the real by the way <laughs> this is the solar system we are in right now this is the solar system cluster so three solar systems and this is the universe <laughs> so there's lots of stuff going on um i haven't even scrolled out yet actually this star system is known to have a lot of alien activity. Really? Right next to the starting thing? Ah, come on! And that's pirates, right? Yeah. And, um... That is the... Android Collective? Cool. That's the Abundant Resource System. I'm wondering, normally... Oh yeah, down there. Normally there's also a... Um, yeah, look, if... If actually, since we would have the, the lock, and then we would scroll in here and it would mark, like, in that system, and then you scroll there, and then you go like... Yeah, we can't scroll there because, yeah, we, we haven't been there yet. But if then it would mark, like... Um, and this sector and there would be the station that would be really really cool but yeah but, but anyway let's continue scavenging <laughs> just saying that i really love that so that's what i'm talking about like a real shooting range here blasting everything to pieces Yeah, the toilet's probably gone soon as well. Come over here, folks. Ooh.
See, that's what I meant. <laughs> I'm not going to have trouble avoiding uh, the little critters. And uh, yeah, hopefully we are not meeting the bigger ones too early. Are you come back, please? Thank you. Uh, let's see. All right. Good. Let's go there-ish. Oh, we still forgot something. Awesome. Now get that stuff. And then we get in here and we select all. Oh, tech blocks. Awesome. And infra blocks. Oh yeah, we can really. And meat. And energium. Oh, perfect. This is a really cool haul. Uh, hey guys, we still have nothing to trade yet. Slaver skilled. I really wonder, do they actually trade slaves? They don't offer any, so probably not. So what I didn't show you last episode was setting up this, um, how's it called? Water purifier. Well, actually it melts ice, that's what it does. So it takes ice and melts them into water. Now, I could set this to continuous, but one piece of ice is the same as uh, five pieces of water because it requires 0.2 ice units to make one water. So I rather have it set up like if we have less than five water, then continue because the ice is stored way easier or does not exceed our capacity as fast as storing the water. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Is this thing empty already? It is. So let's dismantle that. Bam. And we just have all the infra blocks we ever need. Yeah, not ever, but <laughs> you know what I mean. And now we could start. Let's slow down the game, refine. And I set this to continuous because we really want the fabrics available for trading. And now that we have infra blocks again, I would like to put something in at its final position. So what I'm trying to do is build a spaceship without having to move stuff later. Setting up this for fruits and nuts and seeds. By the way, all this stuff has different growth times, like the time it needs until the um, product is matured enough to be harvested. Root vegetables and nuts, I kind of feel, have pretty much the same growth time. Fruits go grow faster and meat grows slowest. So that is my observation. Having this diet in mind and having to care for four people, well, it probably could feed more. I thought that the perfect ratio for a setup would be like three slots for the root vegetables, two slots for fruit and two for nuts and three for meat. Okay, so now I think the only interesting things will be this second hull stabilizer being produced because we are going to need that as soon as we are leaving our starting solar system because from here on we are probably encountering pirates. Need to relax? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we researched our advanced nutrition growth rate 10%. Research the artificial meat, please. Thank you. So Baxter hopefully is going to do this. Yeah, knew it. Why are you not? Sometimes you're a reader though. Just saying. Okay, so now I would actually like to move this. So let's jump. And we want to do that one next. Let's drop there. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, a small one. Let's see. Oh, Baxter wants to do the construction first. Let them do their thing. You know what? Cameron, draft, get in there. 
what's our time yeah we still have time of course we have not explored that yet uh, Corey draft get in there Baxter draft also get in there good where should we dock let's dock here actually this is a really cute little ship so eventually we should stay here a little bit stay here a little bit longer and um you know scavenge it because this is going to give us quite a bit of hull scrap so we can do our thing Ooh, hello nobody there Ooh, that's red. Why is it showing all those symbols, I wonder? Oh, get back in there. Is it showing all those? Oh, because I have... Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah, I was confused there. That was... That was... That was awesome shooting. I mean, come on. That was great. With Baxter at the front, nobody can hurt us. Ah, okay. That's cool. So, you dock here, please. And is there another baddie? Yeah, there is. Awesome! So, now let's scavenge all of that and salvage all of that. And now we are undrafting our guys and undrafting the shuttle and let them do their thing. That was confusing. <laughs> that was so... Ah... Uh, all right, back next morning. I would like... Yeah, Corey has to do... I understand. Yeah, I understand. And now you have to do the industry. Yeah, I, I totally get it. Yep, yep. But we should be done here pretty quickly. I really like how the sun effect comes in there. Oh, Corey is participating. Awesome. How is our ship health doing? We are full. Awesome. That thing is done. I would say we should prepare for a hyper jump. Jump. So let's see. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Two more to go. How early is our day? Let's dock here. How early is our day? We are midday. Okay. Baxter. Cameron Corey draft. Get in there. Yeah, that's one of those ships with those long hallways. Okay, there we go. See, lots of empty space in there. I, I really wonder, like, what?
Are there any baddies in there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, but we have... Ship explored and new data log. Draft ship. Transfer everything. The cool thing is though we are getting energy rods. So eventually when we are next going to research the X1 power generator, we already have the fuel for that. That would be actually really cool. Staff error, entry two. Yeah, simple. All right, we are again done here. Um, but we would get, so how, yeah. I think we should wait for that slaver skill chip because we are going to rest now anyway. But this would give us the opportunity to trade. So we probably should do that. Yeah. We are burning through that energy. So yeah, we should definitely do that. I actually really think that because we have quite a lot of scrap material, we should someone like give them a day just to get that recycled in order to, you know, have the actual materials available. The SGS Ragnarok arrived. That's really a cute little thing. It's evenly built, right? Yeah, that's why the scanner is like one off to the side. Anyway, let's trade with them. So yeah, they get our nine fabrics and we want one meat of, from them, which is actually pretty costly here. 690 something. Yeah, we can afford that. Let's, let's buy an Energium of them as well. Actually, we could buy six energy scrap, which would be another energium, which actually would be cheaper than buying the energium from them. Hmm. Sounds like a fair deal. I accept. And now since our trading is done, we probably should be getting into, into hyperspace and doing another jump. It looks like this would again be a perfect ending for this episode. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Use the word of today in the comments just for fun. It just approves that you are 20 and out elite and those people also in the 20 and out elite will also recognize you as such. See you next time. Bye guys.